When riveting pieces of material together, you have to figure out how to space the rivets out, and how close to the edge it would be, and things like that. So we, we had a couple lessons on that. First thing I want to look at is edge distance. That's the distance from the edge of the piece to the center point of each rivet. Now, this is drawn freehand, so it's not exactly the scale, but it'll give you the idea. That space from the edge can be anywhere from two times the diameter of the rivet to four times the diameter of the rivet. I explained to you that common practice used two and a half times the diameter of the rivet. So, for this example, I'm using four 30 seconds inch rivets. So what I'm going to do is calculate the edge distance by taking four 30 seconds times 2.5, which gives me 10 30 seconds. So, I must be 10 30 seconds of an inch off the side, off this edge, off this edge, and off this edge. I can't be any closer than that, because that's what I chose. Then I discovered by looking on some charts for the type of metal I'm using and the type of rivet I'm using, then I needed seven rivets across this length of material. To do so, I've spaced them out, because you can't have them too close. If they're really close to each other, then the metal's going to tear, because you'll have a whole series of holes and not a lot of metal to hold. So what I've done is I've set up a staggered row. So I've got my four rivets here, and then at the midpoint between each of those rivets, I've got a rivet give me a staggered set of rivets, better strength, and we don't have a closely tight, uh, close knit series of holes that could weaken the metal. So, I've got my edge distance, I also have to figure out how far apart the rivets are going to be when I'm looking at one row. To do that, that rivet spacing, it's also called pitch, can be as little as three times the diameter, but no more than 12 times the diameter. If they're too close, as I said, there's too many holes that weakens the metal, it's too far apart, there's a chance for the metal pieces to separate. So maximum for 12 times the diameter, minimum of 3 times. I chose, just for the sake of easy math, 5 times the diameter. That's between 3 times and 12 times. 5 times 4 30 seconds is 20 30 seconds. What that means is, each rivet, the space between them in the single row, is 20 30 seconds of an inch. Same thing in this row, which is forced by the fact that they're centered and offset. Now, for the next row, I also have to figure out what the space is between the rows. We use 75% of this space. So if I take this space, 75% of that space is how far it will be between the rows. To calculate that, 0.75 times pitch, 0.75 is 75%. When I multiply 0.75 times 20, 30 seconds of an inch, which is my distance here, I get 15, 30 seconds of an inch. So the distance between the rows is 15, 30 seconds of an inch because they're staggered. That's how we calculate edge distance, rivet spacing or pitch, and row spacing.